onto the field. And they have to try and move past that pick six because now they're dealing with a fourth quarter deficit and they need this drive to end in points. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. To throw on third down, Raymond. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. And it will be Falcon football. So here are the Falcons to take over on offense. They're working on a four-game winning streak, and they lead this one as well right now as they start first and ten. Throwing to start the drive. Rowe. Going right side here, and that's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Operating from the gun, Rowe. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. As he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. 83 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ballgame. I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted three times and eight chances. This will be third and five. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. Receivers love having the reputation of being go-to guys on third down. And he was fighting like he really wanted to have that reputation, didn't he? I mean, he came very close to making that a first down. Broke the one tackle, but couldn't spring himself free. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. This will get the lead up to seven. And he missed it. It's no good. And this will stay a four-point game. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Their defense was able to hold serve, albeit with a little help from that missed field goal as they settle in now first and 10. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Well, they didn't fall behind any further thanks to that missed field goal, but still staring at this fourth quarter deficit. 
And they're going to get this down to about the 37. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now a handoff up the middle. Moreland. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Second and eight coming up. Looking to throw. Raymond. Got a man complete. It's Taylor. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 14. A gain there of 21 yards. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They'll try to the left side. Moreland, and that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That's going to go as a loss of six, and it'll set him back for second down. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great. Because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. Tough spot looking at second and 16 here after the big loss. They'll keep it on the ground. Moreland. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. Throwing on third and long. Raymond escaping the pressure right. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart. Took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. And he'll decide to keep this once more. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. It's their quarterback. His third touchdown of the game, 10th on the year. And the Panthers have taken a fourth quarter lead. Partner, it wasn't that long ago that when I talked with these NFL coaches about different innovations in the college game, you can see their eyes roll, and they, they just shut down right away. Don't bring me that Joe College stuff. Well, guess what? The college game has definitely infiltrated its way into the NFL. Yeah, and, so, and these guys, when you're seeing the option defensively, you got to stick to your assignments. I know that's cliche. They didn't do it there. And option football means exactly what you just talked about, assignment football for defenders. And that drives them crazy because you have to think your way through a play as opposed to just reacting and making the play. The Carolina kick team is out there, ready to go, and they kick this one away. From his end zone, Wilson. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. And here now come the Falcons. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Throwing to start the drive. Rowe, this one complete to Coleman. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. Back to throw. Rowe. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. On third down, Rowe. 
And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yep. thought he was trying to get Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not until he came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Looking to throw, Row. Buying time to his left. And this one too low. Well, that's a defense coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Back to throw now on second and 10. Wide open receiver complete. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. He finds his man complete. That's Coleman. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 38-yard line. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. The throw over the middle taken in, and he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. Back to throw. Row. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. On third and two, Row. This one complete to Coates. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Looking to throw. Row. Touched. Oh, no, he lost the football. A plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here, and they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. Extra point forthcoming. And that will make this a four-point game. So that one a long 11-play drive. And the Falcons score to cap it off. Atlanta's 11 ready to go, and they kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And the Panthers coming out now. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. On first and 10, Raymond flushed out right. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Back to throw. Raymond over the middle complete. It's Santos. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. 
Looking to throw. Raymond. Eluding the pressure right. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Throwing again. Raymond. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. They'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Murphy. First down now, but that clock rolling. Back to throw. That's into the hands of Morton over the middle. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. The Panthers got to go quickly. They're moving with a sense of urgency right now. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Back to throw. Oh, that's going to be a costly one. It's intercepted. And the Falcons have just about sewn up this football game. Well, you knew you had to take some chances here with the clock winding down, needing a touchdown to win it, and that one might have just sealed their fate. Yeah, and that's the nature of the two-minute drill, the offense trying to go downfield and make their plays. But defenses, they're sitting back watching everything that they do, but not too far back. They want to be in position to make a play on the ball, and that they did. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the gun on third down, Rowe. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. The Falcons send out their punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. A 46-yard punt, eight yards on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So now the Panthers down on the scoreboard. A little under 50 seconds to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And that is incomplete. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. He'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Clock now under 30 ticks and running. He's back to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Murphy. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. Back to throw again. This for all the marbles. And oh, that one nearly intercepted. That would have sealed it. Instead, it'll be second down. One final shot. They'll look to throw. He's going to let it go again. 
And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. What a game we were treated to in this one. And then on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting it to midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though. So for the Falcons, their strong September has carried over to October as they move to 5-0. And, oh, and they'll get a few extra days to savor this one before they take on the New Orleans Saints. Meanwhile, for the Panthers, they drop below 500 to 2-3 and three with a loss. And they'll look to get back on the beam next week as they host the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.